everybody. I hope you're doing well. I am going to give a special shout out today to my niece and nephew, Ellie and William. Hey guys. They asked me if I could read a Dr. Seuss story. So we are going to read there's a walk it in my pocket today it's one of my favorite dr seuss books it's so silly and i think that everybody could use a little bit of silliness today so let's get to it there's a walk it in my pocket by dr seuss did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket. Or a neuro in your bureau. Or a wallet in your closet. Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in my curtain. Sometimes I have a feeling there's a lock behind the clock. And that Zelf up on the shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But that yachtle in the bottle, some are friendly. Some are not. I like the zable on the table, but the bofa on the sofa? Well, I wish he wasn't there. All the nubberts in the cupboards. They're good fun to have about, but that noothbrush on my toothbrush, him, I could do without. Would you like to have that on your toothbrush? It'd be kind of hard to brush your teeth. Look, he looks kind of angry, doesn't he? He's like, get off my toothbrush. The only one I'm really scared of is the vug under the rug. And that quimmy up the chimney. I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zal scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the Teller and the Neller and the Geller and the Deller and the Beller and the Weller and the Zeller in the cellar. Look at all of those guys. And the geeling on the ceiling, and the zower in my shower. And the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in, and I hope we never leave it. The end. Hey guys, I know it's kind of a rainy day today and we might be kind of stuck in the house. So how about we find something creative and fun to do? One thing I like to do um, is draw pictures. Um, I am not great at drawing, but it's fun and um, relaxing and we can just be creative and make whatever we want to. So uh, maybe your mom and dad can get you some paper and some things to, to draw with and you can draw a picture with me. Or maybe if it's not a good time, you can draw a picture later today. So let's get to it. All right guys, let's draw a picture. I think I'm going to draw a house. So first I'm gonna use my green marker and draw some grass. Hmm. What color should the house be? My favorite color is purple. I think I'll make a purple house. So I'm gonna draw some walls. And I'm gonna make a line like this to make a roof. Mm 
look friends, I made a triangle and I also made a square. I'm gonna draw a rectangle to make a door. And what else do I need? Oh, that's right, I need a window. I'm gonna draw two windows. I'm gonna draw two squares to make two windows. There's one window. There's my second window. One, two, two windows. Let me put a little doorknob so someone can open the door. Hmm, what else should I draw? Maybe, let's draw sunshine. I'm gonna draw my sunshine in this corner. We all need a little sunshine right now, don't we? we go. There's Mr. Sun. Hmm. Maybe some clouds. There we go. Hmm. I also really like trees. I think they're very pretty. I think I'll draw a tree. I'm gonna put the tree over here on this side of the house. It's a very tall tree. Big and green. And since it's spring, or it's almost spring, I'll draw some flowers. What color should my flowers be? Pink? Great idea. Uh, red too? I love that idea. One more, what color? Orange. What's your favorite color? I think I'll color in my clouds. There we go. Let me show you my picture. There's my happy house. Maybe you can draw a house today and maybe you can post a picture of it um, on in the comments.